We're following breaking news on CBS Sports HQ from the NFL. Zach Martin's holdout is now over. Our lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones confirming the Cowboys guard will be paid more than $18 million over each of the next two seasons, giving him a raise of at least eight and a half million dollars over that span. The two year deal also fully guaranteed. Martin is an eight time pro bowler and a six time all pro. The six all pro nods are the second most in the league since he was drafted in 2014, trailing only Aaron Donald, who has seven. All right, so let's get more on this from former player and CBS Sports NFL analyst Lige Duzable, who joins us here on HQ. Lige, Sunday Martin's fines reached a nice round number, $1 million. Ooh. But it's water under the bridge now. Uh, your reaction to this deal, which gives him the raise that he was seeking. Yeah, Jeremy, it was about time. And Jerry Jones isn't a fool. He understands the NFC East defensive tackles, right? You got Dexter Lawrence, who just got paid because he can affect the quarterback. Leonard Williams also with the New York Giants. Then you look at the Washington Commanders, right? Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, who both have been paid a lot of money to affect the quarterback. And then Jalen Carter just gets drafted to the Philadelphia Eagles. Zach Martin has been the best guard in football, I would say, the last five to seven years. But more specifically, he's been the best pass-protecting guard. So I talked about all those athletic defensive tackles that he has to stand up with week in and week out. Jerry Jones knows if, if Dak uh, Prescott wants to be upright, you got to pay the best guard in the league. Now, he doesn't make the mark of Chris Lindstrom, who's making about $20 million, but I think age factors in right here, Jeremy. Chris Lindstrom is only 26 years old and Zach Martin is 32. But even though Zach Martin is 32, he's still the best pass protecting guard in all of football. Last year was his eighth Pro Bowl, his sixth All-Pro season. Not that he would have played, but I mean, the team clearly missing his presence in that first preseason game, which they lost to Jacksonville, if only in spirit and guidance for the backups. How big is this for the Cowboys to get him locked in now as the preseason really shifts into high gear? Well, Jeremy, it's massive because continuity on that offensive line is something you got to have going into the season. And he's been the one mainstay on that offensive line. I mean, Tyron Smith has dealt with issues. The, the Smith kid that they took from Tulsa, they moved him from left tackle to guard, back to left tackle. So Zach Martin has been a main cog in that offensive line. And again, you want that continuity heading into the season. I'm glad they were able to get this deal done. Now they can work Zach Martin in slowly but surely, and he'll be ready to go when the season starts. According to PFF, this team has a top 10 ranked offensive line. Obviously, guys like Dak, you mentioned it, Tony Pollard are going to be ecstatic about this guard getting his bag here. Oh, definitely. If you're Tony Pollard, you're, 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 you're grinning from ear to ear because now I got my guy back in the middle, opening up holes for me. I'm essentially in a contract here, and, and Dak Prescott as well because – there's been talks of we don't know what the Cowboys are going to do next year with Dak Prescott's contract, right? A lot of people feel like they're going to revisit that contract and restructure it, or do they let him play out that one year and let him go into free agency, or does he get traded? So now Dak Prescott and Tony Pollard, they have to feel a little bit more comfortable because they got their main guy in the middle, not only run blocking for them, but protecting them as well. If you're Dak Prescott, you got to be excited because you're essentially going into a contract year too because your cap number is so high that they either got to restructure you or trade you next year. So now that you have Zach Martin in the fold, you feel a lot more comfortable when you're back there in that pocket. Well, and now we know who gets to pay for uh, who gets to pay for dinner at one of the restaurants, right? He's going to be able to pick up the tab oh, with that. It's on him. New it's bag on it Zach is, yeah. Sure. <laughs> he is lead <laughs> CBS Sports NFL analyst Leger Duzable discussing Dallas guard Zach Martin getting a new deal with the Cowboys, ending his holdout. Great stuff, Leger. Always good to see you. The Pick Six podcast so certainly will have more on the Cowboys situation. The latest episode diving into best bets for Week One. You can join Will Brinson, Jason Lacanfora, and Emery Hunt for that. Download and follow the Pick Six wherever you get your pods or scan that QR code and listen right now.